G'day Sagittarius, welcome back to TJ Tarot and Under. Gonna do the <clears throat> love energy coming towards you as that now, see what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Whoa, that was quick. I like that. Mind you, in the pre-shuffle, cards were flying everywhere. So they're very keen to get their message out. <laughs> Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so please keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Sagittarius right now. Okay. Clarify card number one, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and I'll list below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. In case you're interested. What the decks are. Clarify card number two, please. Get the clarifiers out for these and then... Oh, we've got a flipper in there. I think that belongs with that one. Oh no, they said no. That must have been in the pre-shuffle. I'll put it in the middle. Alright, in case it wants to come out. Card number two, please. Clarify. Okay. And clarify card number three, please. Oh. There's more cards that have flipped in here. I think that was in the pre-shuffle, so that's just going to stay. Mm. Like I said, your cards were going nuts in the pre-shuffle, so look, that's what came out. <laughs> that's what the, yeah, that's what we're going with. All right, let's start. <sighs> Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. With the Nine of Wands and the Death card. I feel that they've had a strong magnetic attraction to you for quite a while. Because they're not giving up. No matter what. Hoping this will transform into something. Not giving up hope. They don't want it to end. But they want this to move to something more hoping you feel that chemistry too and this transforms into something not giving up hope that there's that this can transform into more than just a magnetic attraction ooh okay we'll keep going religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path I'm getting, they feel there's a chemistry here, but they've been wounded by an ending with you. Hmm, but they still feel attracted to you. All right, let's see what their belief systems with love is. Four of wands, four of swords, two fours, nine of cups, and the world card. From hearing a whole new world. What's that? Aladdin or something? I don't know. One of those Disney movies. But they believe in... <coughs> passionately about stability. Stable passion. Healing. And the peacefulness of a relationship. But... <coughs> was this stable passion? Was this just a... You know... Always about, you know, being the stable one that was always there when they needed passion. Wanting to heal that for their wish fulfillment. Yeah, wanting to heal. Hmm. Did they keep the peace just for the, so they could get their own emotional fulfillment out of this and then close out the cycle once they were for feeling fulfilled? No, I'm getting strange energies here 
Like it was quite full on how many cards were flying out when they, in the pre shuffles. <clears throat> I didn't take note of what the cards were because it was, it was just trying to shuffle and start your reading. So, but it was quite aggressive the way they were flying out. They believe in stable passion, keeping the peace for their own emotional fulfillment. A whole new world, why is that? Hmm, this is a strange energy. I'm getting confused here. There's either two energies that are trying to come through at the same time with different meanings from the same cards or that this energy is they're making out that there's something when they're actually something else. Like there's two sides of this energy. Hmm, like making out they want this to transform in something, but actually they just want it to end. Like closing out the cycle, but you're their whole world. Like, oh, oh. trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. I think they want you to trust them. Again, the star card, I was going to say the wish card. The ten of cups. And the Six of Cups. Yeah, they want to get your trust back again. That's what they're wishing for, to heal this, to get your long-term love again like they had in the past. <clears throat> no, it's not memories of love. They're saying it's not memories of love. They don't want to make memories of love. They... Mm, uh, see, why does trust come up unless trust has been broken? Trust and have faith that they'll get their wish of long-term love with you, make memories. Uh, just, that just doesn't sound right. <clears throat> Wanting to heal this, heal your trust to get you, you to love them long-term. Like you did in the past. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't mean to like put a downer on it, but it's just the energy I'm getting up. Like a, it's almost a, like it came out, the cards were just flying out everywhere, like almost aggressively. <sighs> we saw how fast the first ones came out. Like, mm. Let's find out a bit more. <coughs> Sorry. You yeah, see, we've got no under the deck. All right. Give me three more cards for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. See? And there it goes on the floor. But let's look how fast they're coming out. Let me grab that. I don't know what it is it landed like that. Alright. They're quite aggressive. Like, forceful. Not... Oh, not just... It's like they're blurting everything out. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not getting anger though. Alright, clarify card number one in row two, please. I hope you're taking care of yourself and being good to yourself and spoiling yourselves, doing well. If you haven't spoiled yourself in a while, please make sure you make time to clarify card number two, please. Okay, number three, please. Okay. Alright, let's...
let's find out what the go is with this because I'm a bit confused by the energy here. Reconsider. I'm hearing, hoping you'll reconsider. Mm, page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Hoping you'll reconsider them because they've been watching you and they see that you're happy with within yourself. You're emotionally fulfilled with yourself. You're not looking for anybody to fill your cups for you. Yes, you're seeking love, that's why you're here, but you're not codependent on someone else making you happy. You have your own happiness, that's what's so, so attractive about you. So they're watching you be happy, reconsider, they're spying on you. Possibly even gathering information about you to try and get their own emotional fulfilment here. Get lucky, I'm hearing, with this ladybird, which is lucky, but I'm hearing get lucky, and they're hoping to get lucky. Hmm. Yeah, trying to gather information about you to get you to reconsider them. Hmm. Not the right time. So they're not doing anything now. The world card. Ah, the ace of wands. The queen of swords. And the four of cups. <coughs> so they know it's not the right time to start a new beginning. Because the ending is still here. It's not the right time to come in with an offer of any passionate wand action. Because they feel you're still guarding your heart too closely for them to make an offer. You wouldn't be interested in an offer from them right now. They know that. Because you're still, hmm, no one gets to my heart until they pass that sort of truth. And they know they can't pass that sort of truth. Possibly you're even a bit cold towards them. They feel that they know it's not the right time to make an offer. It's not the right time to come in with a passion, take any sort of action to begin anything. Because the cycle's ended. They also know it's not the right time to actually close out the cycle either. But it's not the right time to take any action. That's why they're just spying. Reconsidering considering what they need to do to get what they want out of you. Forgiveness. I just don't like this energy. It's really sneaky. Oh, the death card. And the Queen of Pentacles. They want forgiveness for ending the commitment. <clears throat> Loving, stable, grounded, committed with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen being the energy of water, of love and emotion. In the death card for ending something to begin something else. So ending the commitment here. Want forgiveness for that. Possibly they went off with it. Somebody went off, ended things with you and committed to somebody else. <clears throat> or they just ended the stable commitment with you. They want forgiveness for that. But I'm getting an aggressive energy from the way, from this scythe or sickle or whatever they're called. It's like an attack. Like it was cut off really harshly. I want forgiveness for that. I just... <clears throat> Something's not right here. 
So we've got the death card here and the death card here. <coughs> There's still a chemistry between you two. Uh, I'm hearing like they've almost had enough and they want it to end. <laughs> For stable passion, they would heal this. But for their own emotional fulfillment, they they know it needs to end. See the world cards here twice too. <clears throat> the trust to be healed and have long term love. Well, no, like I said, they want you to trust them again and to love them again, like you did in the past. But see, from watching you, they're starting to reconsider should they just go over after their own emotional fulfilment. See, Nine of Cups is here twice too. So we've got the Death card twice, we've got the World card twice, we've got the Nine of Cups twice. Mm. They know it's not the right time to make an offer, but it's not the right time to close it out either. I think they just want to keep the door open. I don't know what they want, really. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Well, <clears throat> we have all different types of soulmates. I don't think this is possibly a lesson in love. Because soulmates will teach you things. You learn lessons, good and bad. Mm. But see, uh, yeah, see. They're coming in as a romantic soulmate, but that's a deception. It's a lie. Someone who's wearing a false self mask in this relationship, yeah. Stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, but healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <clears throat> Why heal this? Because of the, they want to heal the past. Because I think they don't feel emotionally fulfilled about what they did. Pretending to be a soulmate, your soulmate, when it was all a lie. They're optimistic that they can heal this, heal the past with you. They know you deserve love, and they know it's safe for them to come towards you. But they're only fl look flirt playfulness. They're only yeah, they're only playing. They're just playing. They just want to get what they want out of it, but I don't see anything in return. The moon card, yeah, full of secrets and fear. The emperor, yeah, they're afraid they're not going to be able to control you again, that you're going to leave them out in the cold with the five of pentacles. King of swords, so they're... Mm, see that coldness, the queen of swords, the king of swords... I'm getting that coldness and that, ooh. See, they're not using their heart here at all. It's all in the mind. I'm getting like a... They're not happy. They're angry about this. Yeah, but they don't know what to do about it. Yeah, they're afraid. They won't be able to control you and you'll leave them out in the cold. I'm just getting uh, I'm just getting a bad feeling about this King of Swords. I don't like it, what they're thinking. They're not sure what to do because they had this you as their soulmate who made them happy who and things were going successful. They were getting all the attention that they wanted. All the passionate communication they wanted. You set them up with stability in this commitment. You, Queen of Wands, that's your energy. Now they're conflicted because they're left with a burden here. Of having to actually work with you this time. For this to move to Karma Waters, thank you. Yeah, and that, they don't want to do the work, they want you to do the work. 
within the next few weeks, romance, ooh, compromise a year from now. So within the next few weeks, they might try and romance you, but it's to get you to compromise, to give them, set them up for the next year. That's, that's what their action is for, their own success. <coughs> Why are these readings like this? Page of Cups, Five of Swords, see? Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. See, there's an apology, but it's manipulative. Manipulative. It's all to get what they want at any cost. They'll tell you these sweet nothings that are nothing. Just to manipulate you like they did in the past. See, so they can, this can come back together. So they don't have to page a pentacles, they don't have to do much. They can live out their fantasy. And keep in the shadows and keep secrets. They're afraid, but they won't say anything because they've got to act tough and strong. But they're just going to disappoint you because they're a player. They're playing you for the Ten of Pentacles. Playing you for the long-term stability that you will provide them. Oh, bugger. I hate that. Yeah, it just, it just doesn't feel right. And the way that cards were shuffling before it was like, whoa, settle down, mate. All right, what would this energy like to say to Sagittarius, please? I won't call it love energy because I don't think it is. We're pretending, see? First card out, lying was easier than telling the truth. Yep, that's right. Because love energy, that's a lie. The truth is, <laughs> there's something else they want out of you. And you turn me on and there it is. They want you prov to provide everything. And like I said here with the four of wands, they want someone that, that when they're turned on, that's going to be there for them. Stable passion. I want you back. I can't do this anymore. I miss you. I love holding you. I wish things were different. I'm always thinking about you. I wish I had treated you better. See, this is, they're really going to pour it on. Oh, I want you back. I can't do this anymore. But see, how long can they do this for is what I'm hearing. Oh, I miss you. I love holding you. I wish things were different. I'm always thinking about it. I wish I had treated you better. I'm sorry I hurt you. I look at your pictures all the time. And then they go cold. No emotion. No reaching out to you. Yeah, and they can't wait to see you when they need a home to be at. <laughs> but they know they're not good enough. They know it's not good enough. Oh, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Why is the reading like this? Dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Yeah. They want to try and get you to trust them again, but they know it's not the right time right now, so they just, yeah. Within the next few weeks, they're going to come and try and smooth you. With all those, oh, I need you, I want you, I love you, and all that. Yeah, but it's all the soulmate deception. Yeah, and that's what it is. Uh, but you already know that because you've dealt with them before. So, yeah, there's nothing about them doing their own healing. We've got healing here, but that's about them getting their own emotional fulfillment from you. And then closing out the cycle. <sighs> Once they get what they want. Ah, oh, just a derp. 
bag. Alright, well that's your reading Sagittarius, sorry. It's not the greatest, but it's a warning. So, yeah. Alright, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a nice comment, that'd be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. All the best, take care, good luck, avoid this dirt bag. I'll catch you later.